I'm going to tell you something that a lot of you should already know, but some of you don't. Every time you're looking at one of those, I'm a psychic medium and I'm not going to use cards or anything to do this reading, or when you're watching or looking for tarot card readings, like general readings, um, a lot of it is bullshit. It's bullshit. You attract what you look for. And while you're ghosted by Narcx, separated, gone no contact, um, and you're looking for any kind of clue as to, do they regret? Do they miss me? Are they thinking of me? Uh, no. No. If they regretted what they did to you, they would have never done it in the first place. Actions, not words. They're the most, the, the most dependable indicator of who a person is and what their intention is. And I don't care if you're dealing with like a narcissist or you're dealing with anybody, a friend, uh, any good, bad, toxic, whatever. Actions, not words. I, uh, I've been a card reader. I'm a, I, I, I cast spells. I've been doing it since I was 13. I think most of you guys that have subscribed to me know that, you know, and I can tell you, as a psychic, your intuition is your intuition. What you feel, your gut instinct, um, the one that, you know, the one that we ignore over and over again because we want to see the best in somebody. We want to believe the best in that person, that toxic ass person that lies and gaslights constantly, that does reckless shit, blames you for it, that brings drama to you or creates drama. And then says you're the cause of it. The, all that, all the, all, <laughs> all the insane shit that you have dealt with. Those are the actions. Those speak. That is who that person is. And there is no amount of wishy-washy, willing, wishful thinking. All right. There's no, uh, there's no magic combination that's going to open this magical chest inside that toxic person, that narcissist that's going to magically open up and they're going to start healing or they're going to recognize everything that you did and how much you meant to, them, or how much they meant to you and how many sacrifices and how much you destroyed yourself. Uh, none of it, none of it matters. You know what they got off on? They got off on you acting wreck. They got off on lying to you. They got off on using you. They got off on manipulating you. They most especially got off on passing on their pain and traumatizing you and making you act as batshit crazy as you have while you were trying to figure out why this person who says they love you, they're sleeping with you, uh, they're, you know, they, they say you're, they're your friend, you know, they're, they're future faking you and promise you all this, why they would do what they do. You know why? Because they're a piece of shit. They are garbage. There is no saving them. And then, no matter how much you wish for it, um, there's not going to be a magical YouTube channel or a TikTok card person or a spiritualist or a psychic medium out there who's selling you bullshit. Right now, that ex that did you wrong is regretting it. They are getting their karma right now. They are wishing that they didn't turn. Bullshit! All of those, all of those, they're all bullshitters. All of them. Okay? You want to talk to a real psychic or a real reader? Go pay for it. <laughs> go go find a good one. They are out there. They, they It does happen. But those general readings that you're seeing out there, oh, Taurus, or oh, whoever, <laughs> you know, that person that, that you had that rocky relationship with, that's your twin flame. First off, y'all, twin flames are toxic. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. The whole chaser, runner bullshit, that is a toxic situation. That is an empath and a narcissist. That is a codependent and a manipulator. All right? That is a, a person with weak boundaries and a person who doesn't give a single damn about anyone but themselves. Twin flames, toxic. Don't believe in that shit. Don't fall for that shit. Don't fall for those general readings. They are literally trying to play like the narcissist did on fantasies that will never come to pass. Stop looking at them. Stop it. Stop wondering what's going on or what they're doing. You know what they're doing? They're using somebody else. Are they going to get the karma back? Absolutely. You cannot be a garbage ass person and not get your karma back. Don't worry about that. That's out of your hands. That's, that's not a part of your life. 
That's not who you are. That's who they are. Let them go be garbage people. Pardon me. That's my huge cockatoo. I get a very loud, angry cock. That is... <laughs> be quiet, cock. Listen. Do not. Uh, do not take the time. Do not. I don't care how much you want, how much you want to believe it, how much you think it might be true. Do not, uh, when you're scrolling through Instagram or whatnot, give a single ounce of credence to any of these, I'm a psychic medium and I'm not going to be using any tools or any cards for this reading. This is a general reading for a swath of the popular. Bullshit! Your ex isn't thinking about you. The only time your narc ex is thinking about you is when they run out of supply. The only time they're thinking about you is when they, they're, they're laughing with their flying monkeys about the lies they've told. Uh, they are desperate to get your attention is, to get your attention again. When your narc ex is freaking, is, is, is trying to freaking get, get your attention. We know, you know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know the phone calls or the texts. Y'all know. One minute it's crying. One minute it's begging. The next minute it's threatening. And then it's back to crying, and then it's back to manipulating, and then it's begging, and then it's cheating, and then you know what it is. When that narcissistic woman ghosts you to go bang half the county and go get money from whoever that, that bitch can get money from, all right? On her back, <laughs> right? Uh, to, to hustle money. Everyone in her holes in some vain attempt to feel something left inside her broken soul. The only time. She's thinking about you is when she cannot fill one of those holes. When she is desperate enough for money. The only time she's thinking about you is, can I manipulate that man again? Can I make a fool of him some more? I need to triangulate this new supply with somebody who I've got a steady history of damage in. Maybe I'll go make this person jealous and set them off and make them nuts. That dude leaving you messages over messages after messages after messages doesn't care about you. <clears throat> doesn't actually <clears throat> want you. He wants his object, his it or thing. Same thing as the chick. They want their object, their it, their thing. That's all they want. They want somebody to punish. They want somebody to blame because they ain't got a place. They want somebody to blame because they ain't got any supply. They want somebody to blame because they don't look at themselves. And there is no psychic out there. All right? There is no, like, <laughs> general psychic. Excuse me. There's no general card reader. All right. There's no. There's there, that, that. That's a. That's a fantasy. There. Those people are selling you fantasies. Narcx does not give a shit about you. If they gave a damn about you, then they would be there with you. If they gave a damn about you, they wouldn't have burnt you over and over again. They wouldn't have lied about your character. They wouldn't have gathered other people to lie about you. They wouldn't have tried so hard. To drive you insane. Uh, to, to, so that they could point the finger at your reactions to their heinous, just reckless, d d depressing, d crazy drama that nobody else saw. And then blame you and say, look, that person is toxic. I told you they were abusive. <laughs> There's no magic combination to open the door to their heart. They don't got one. It's gone. It left. It checked out. They prioritized their false ego, not healing themselves, and a relationship with literal freaking evil over having a heart, giving or giving or caring or anything. And that little bit of compassion that you might see them, or the little bit of kindness that you might see them, the little bit of uh, whatever, whatever projection, whatever illusion of niceties that they have ever put off is all a fake front. All of it. None of it was real. That person doesn't love you. If they loved you, they would have never lied, smeared, and sought to destroy you. There is no magic combination to open that, to open an imaginary chest, an imaginary room that you have created, a fantasy you created in your mind that's in them, that's going to lead to them fully understanding everything that you meant to them. They do not have the capacity. What happened to them in their childhoods dictated their lives and instead of healing they became um, this emotionally stunted character low emotional intelligence low vibrational that only prioritizes their need to, to get attention and drama from other people and that was you and god forbid you already had some codependency or abandonment issues or, or you already had your own mommy or daddy issues. 
which you probably did because narcs go after people like that because people who have been through hardships in their early life are the ones who want to believe that other people can make it, that other people can survive because we understand that pain and that damage. But there's a difference between people like us who overcome our damage and do introspection and look at ourselves and a person like a narcissist. A narcissist has no interest whatsoever in healing. They are a bottomless pit. You can pour as much love into that bucket as you want, but there are holes at the bottom of that bucket. Remember, brothers and sisters, actions, not words. The only time you take somebody at their word is when it's backed up by a history of actions that you can predict and you go, okay, that person stands by their word. There's no card reader. There's no, <laughs> there's no spell. There's no uh, the, the psychic. <laughs> I'm doing a reading today and your ex is thinking about you. The only reason your ex is thinking about you is because they lost control of you and they want to control you again. Or they are going over and getting adulation from the other toxic fucks, the trash that they surround themselves with as to how bad they burned you. That's, that, that, that's it. That's all. It's the only time they're thinking about you. Trying to get you under control or laughing about how they hurt you. Understand that. Embrace it. It's sad. Don't become like the narcissist. You lied to yourself enough already. You ignored the red flags and you bullshitted yourself. And uh, you tried to tell yourself over and over again, I see the good in them. I see that there's no good in them. Actions, not words. Prioritize your, prioritize your intuition. Okay? Your feelings. Because your first instinct about that person was right off the bat. And every time that your soul, your angels, your guardians have been tapping you on the shoulder or banging you in the head along with your friends. Telling you that that Hoover and Hobgoblin is an evil piece of trash that is only seeking out to destroy you. Trust it. Trust it. Never go back to a person who crosses your boundaries over and over again. Because honestly, the more times you let somebody like that cross your boundaries over and over, you're, 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 you're basically asking them to do it again. And for God's sakes, stop listening to these freaking mediums and, and, and psychic tarot card, whatever. I don't know, using instruments, bullshit people, all right? They're playing on your insecurities. They're not real. They're fake. They're as fake as a narcissist. They're just trying to get your attention and play off of your depression. And you have had enough of that in your life, whether it was a narc parent, a narc family member, or that Hoover and Hobgoblin. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other and love yourself.